Hello everyone, welcome to Devincept. In this video, we will discuss about Markdown language, how to create a file in Markdown language, add hyperlinks and how to create tables, lists, paragraph and download the file. Markdown language is helpful for creating documentation of a code. For that, we can use Google Colab or Jupyter Notebook. In this video, I will be using Jupyter Notebook. So let's get started. For creating new Jupyter Notebook, just click on the new and click on Python 3. Yes, you can see this. If you don't know how to install Jupyter Notebook in your laptop, we have made a video on this. You can check out in our channel or I will keep that video in description. Basically in Jupyter Notebook, if you want to compile or execute the code, you can directly click on the run. But if you want to execute the text part, you have to change from coding to markdown. Now you can edit the text. First one, how to create heading in markdown language. We can use hash symbol for creating heading. You can see this. If you want to decrease the size of the heading, you can just add many more hashes before the text. Yes, you can see this. The size of the text has been decreased. Next one. How to type text in bold or italic in Markdown language? For italic, you just have to use underscore before and after of the text. Yes, you can see this. To get the text in bold, you just have to use asterisk. Yes, you can see this. The text is in bold form. And if you want the text in both italic and bold form, you can just use both underscore and asterisk at a time. Yes, you can see that. Next one. How to add links to a text in Markdown language? For that, first you have to keep the text in braces. For example, we will use Devincept. And now we have to add the link in parentheses and then just execute it. So whenever a person click on this text, it will redirect to that website. Next one, how to add images in Jupyter Notebook. Here in Jupyter Notebook, there are two ways. Either you can use inline image or if you have a downloaded file, you can just upload it. For that, click on the edit and then click on insert image. First, we have to make this box into a markdown language and then click on edit and click on insert image and then click on choose file. Yes, you can see this and now just exec execute it. Yes, you can see this. Similarly, for inline image, we have to use same like the links, but we have to just add the exclamation mark in front of the braces and parentheses. I will show you. First, enter the exclamation mark and the next in the braces, enter the text. And then paste the link and then just execute it. Yes, you can see this. We can uh, display images using either inline or from the local directory. Next one. How to create tables in Markdown language? For that, we use lines. We use lines to create the column names and the rows also. Then just execute it. Yes, you can see this. Next one, lists. How to create lists in Markdown language? Lists are of two types, unordered list and ordered list. Unordered list, for that we can use hash tricks or bullet points, any one of them. Yes, you can see this. Similarly, we can keep bullet points instead of hash tricks. Similarly, for order list, we use the numbers. Yes, for order list, we can use numbers. You can see this. Next one, paragraph. To type in paragraph format, we can just type continuously. 
to keep the text in new line most of the people do just giving one space line for the new line instead of that we can use double space so whenever you execute this text you will just get in a single line if you want in a new line most of the people do is just they will give one space here and then they will execute instead of that we can use double space command by eliminating this space for that after comma just give two space and then execute it yes you can see this and the last one how to download markdown file in jupyter notebook once it is completed once you have completed the documentation and entered the code you can just download by clicking file section and then click on download as you will get various options you can download in html format markdown language format ip nip format pdf py format anything if you want in markdown file then just click on that the file has been downloaded that's it guys thank you thanks for the watching